Hello world, in this video I am going to introduce you to a technique that is used to create audio from spectrogram. I am using Kaggle to demonstrate this. And uh, you can see uh, the two database that, uh, that I am using is audio cats and dogs and free spoken digits. We shall try to uh, generate spectrogram of an audio uh, that is from cat database and uh, recreate the uh, audio from the spectrogram. I just tried this technique when I saw uh, the same technique that is uh, being used in Tacotron, a neural network that is used to uh, generate audio from text. In Tacotron, uh, the spectrogram is generated by the uh, neural network and the, uh, from this spectrogram, audio is generated uh, using this technique. So I was actually excited to uh, try out this technique uh, since I saw, uh, saw it in Tacotron. For this demo, uh, we are using TensorFlow 2.9.1 and uh, TensorFlow I.O. Uh, 0 0.26.0. TensorFlow I.O. is used for, um, uh, that is, it gives APIs for handling the audio. If you are trying this, uh, then uh, please use the uh, same version which is shown in the video. Uh, for uh, various other versions, uh, there is, uh, it shows some issues uh, with the API. So uh, please check the compatibility in the TensorFlow I.O. documentation if you are uh, using any different uh, versions of TensorFlow and TensorFlow I.O. Now we have finished the installation of the TensorFlow. Now let us install TensorFlow IO. It may take a few minutes. Now let us execute the code. Here we set the audio that is uh, the, uh, the audio which we want to uh, generate the spectrogram. We have already uh, loaded the uh, audio and you can see that in the right panel. Here I am, I am trying to use, uh, use the, a cat audio uh, that is present in the audio cats and dogs database. Let us uh, take the uh, get the location of the of a cat audio. Now let us play the audio.
Next step is to generate a spectrogram from this audio. Let us try out another audio. Let us create spectrogram for this audio. You can see the diagram of the audio. Let us create the spectrogram for the same audio. What you now see is the spectrogram. It is from this spectrogram thus that we are going to generate the audio. The parameter that we use here is same as the parameter that we use for generating the spectrogram. Wow, we are finally able to generate the audio uh, almost similar to that of the uh, original audio. That's all. Thank you.